是让不同的国家、不同的这个区域，它都能在一个平台上能找到这个数据使用的这种这源头。South South partnership in high technology、uh, topics is meaningful and possible. On March 28, Myanmar was struck by the magnitude 7.9 earthquake, causing significant damage and loss of life. In addition to swift rescue teams and supplies, China also provided remote sensing satellite data to support rescue and relief efforts. The data is from Chinese satellites, including the Gaofen series. Gaofen in Chinese means high resolution. High resolution timing and imaging, diverse spectra. It's just like they combine detailed and general surveys and offer a very good technological base for emergency relief. During emergency disaster relief operations, it can shorten the time by several minutes. But in fact, the importance of this is immeasurable in saving life and property. What Galfin has contributed includes satellite observation data for relief in more than 100 disasters in approximately 36 countries and regions over the past few years. The cases include forest fires in Algeria, a volcanic eruption in Tonga, and an earthquake in Turkey. The Galfin satellites from 1 to 4 have joined the International Charter on Space and Major Disasters, a significant initiative developed to provide a unified system for the space data response to major disasters. If major natural disasters occur internationally, we respond promptly. In our country, it is the same. In remote sensing and the broader area of cooperation, China has been working with other countries in the Global South, and this has been warmly welcomed. It was a possibility for us, both countries, to show that it um, South-South partnership in high technology uh, topics is meaningful and possible. The Galfin program was initiated in 2010. Now the Galfin family has established a massive space-based system, realizing Earth observation capabilities ranging from geostationary orbit satellites to low orbit satellite constellations, from visible light to infrared, multispectral to hyperspectral, and from optical remote sensing to radar remote sensing. To effectively address issues such as insufficient openness and sharing of remote sensing satellite data, low timeliness of data acquisition and waste of resources, China initiated the construction of the National Remote Sensing Data and Application Service Platform in 2021. And in 2023, China launched the international version of the platform for remote sensing data and application services. The aim is to enable different countries and regions to locate the sources of data usage on this platform and also to standardize data. This platform has provided a very good foundation for data usage in BRICS countries. It performs well and continues to exchange data. It plays an important role also in the countries involved in the Belt and Road, in ASEAN and Southeast Asia, and has also played a significant role there. The platform offers global users services, such as querying the global metadata catalog of the seven Gulf and high-resolution satellites, and ordering archived data from them. The platform also provides download services from some 30 related land, meteorological, and oceanic satellite information products. China also assists Global South countries in building their own satellites, such as the MISRSAT-2 remote sensing satellite for Egypt. The satellite have uh, two payloads, and the combination of the two uh, brings very strong images that serve very broad sectors of the sustainable development goals like agriculture, urban development, uh, water resources, natural resources. And the CBIS resources satellites for Brazil. We have now with China, uh, our, our main uh, uh, partnership is in, in the space is the building of satellites always trying to use the monitoring of Earth 
in our benefit. And for China's remote sensing data and application services, eight overseas standards are in development that will eventually provide more efficient data to global users. The deputy chief designer says they will update technologies to meet the broader needs of China and the international community.